Welcome back Spartans. Today we're doing something a little different. I know it's been a few days since the video's been on this channel and I want to get back to posting uh, more heavily. So tomorrow I'm posting a epic video and it will be a longer video. This is a short one. Just want to show you the insane amount of trophies Joe gets from my clan. So check it out. Joe actually took a break. He wasn't playing for about a few months, actually about a month and a half I think. Uh, he needed to retire basically and he's back and one of his first raids coming back was this one and he found an under leveled base with a town hall outside and revenged this guy because he stole a bunch of loot from him and unfortunately he couldn't get any loot back but since he's been inactive he's dropped a lot of trophies and is looking to climb again so here he goes with this win let's find out how many trophies he could pull in a single win and then after this raid of course I'll show an epic raid by myself and uh, tomorrow, obviously, I'll do a bunch of clan raids. I'll show a bunch of people raiding along with myself. And then I have some really exciting videos coming up for the middle of the week. And also, for the end of the week, I have a huge announcement. Uh, anyone who's a fan of World Zombination Expert, or World Zombination in general, the game that I play, um, that game is actually going global on Thursday. So I will have a link for you guys to download the game. And that'll be a lot of fun. I know a lot of you are going to want to do that. 52 trophies, though. That's insane, guys. I can't believe he got a 52 trophy revenge. That is epic and a very easy garch or barch win, excuse me, which is also easier. Uh, it's a very cheap force and he got 52 trophies for it. So definitely, definitely exciting. And look at this one 4,000 Dark Elixir on the board and it's all right there pretty much. So we're going to drop down the lightning spells. We need to get rid of this wizard and mortar. At least the wizard for sure. The mortar we do need to injure heavily, if not take out. So we're going for it. Let's see. Wizard's gone. Mortar does not go down. Okay, that's a little bit of an issue. Uh, we should be able to be okay with that, I guess. Uh, I don't know. That's rough. Anyway, dropping the goblins down, taking out those outside mines really carefully. Not trying to waste too many goblins, but I do want to get rid of all that loot. And we do want to take everything we can out of this base. And uh, we're going to use archers along the edges and the corners and stuff. And then, of course, going heavy on the dark elixir mines because that's what we're trying to steal. And we already have stolen a thousand dark elixir, and the rest looks to be in that center. And that is guarded by two inferno towers, and also a mortar, and an expo, and archer, and uh, sorry, two expos. Wow, it's got a heavy, heavy guard. So we're dropping down our troops and spreading them out, looking to wall break in, and we do wall break in. So here come the goblins, go heavy. Got some wizards going in, got some barbs, some minions coming out of that clan castle. Pretty epic, and here we go. The other clan castles come out. It's all balloons. That'll be really deadly, but we are going to get it all. Boom, there it goes. So we do get all 4,000 Dark Elixir, and we do not win, however, but we do get the 4,000 Dark Elixir, which is what I wanted. So pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We will have a bunch more content coming out this week, so get active, guys. I'll see you soon. Peace.